other name but Jesus. Oh, how my soul delights to hear the precious name of Jesus. Sweetest note in Sarah's song, sweetest name. next one we want to sing is 260 hover over me holy spirit 260 260 mm -hmm. Thank you. 
and this is our prayer today for God to come and fail us now. Amen. So we're going to do 262 to welcome the divine worship. 262. Sweet, sweet spirit. <laughs> Good morning, happy Sabbath. Welcome to the Fayetteville Church. Such a blessing to have you here today. God has been good that he brought us through this week. Each day as we breathe our breath, we're breathing his breath. As when he created man, he breathed his breath into Adam, and so what a privilege it is that we get to breathe his life every day. Um, for our invocation this morning, I'd like to share the words from the song that we will sing for special music today. Just the first stanza says, I searched the world, but it couldn't fill me. Man's empty praise and treasures that fade are never enough. Then you came along and put me back together, and every desire is now satisfied here in your love. Oh, there's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you. Lord, there's nothing better than you. Let's pray. Father in heaven, I thank you that you have brought us here today. I pray for those who are still on their way coming and those who will be worshiping with us online today and who will be watching this in the future as well. I pray for your spirit to lead and guide our hearts and minds today, that the word would take root in our hearts and would spring forth with new life. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, our announcements for today. We have the Ozark Adventist Academy Drama Club will be um, offering a production on April 20th at 6 p.m. And it's an original production about Desmond Doss. Who knows who Desmond Doss is? Have you heard of him? All right, so he's from, uh, there was the story Hacksaw Ridge that was in theaters. Well, this is a play about Desmond Doss that will be um, produced and acted at the Academy by the Academy students. Tegan will be a part of the production. So if you'd like to come and see Tegan on stage, April 20th at 6 p.m. Also, Melanie's sons, Nathan and Gavin, will be in, Gavin's not in the production. Nathan will be in the production. I think he's Desmond Doss himself. So please come and join us there as we watch that. 
donations will be accepted, but um, you don't have to pay to get in. It starts at 6 o'clock. Um, the book of the month, despite the Apostle Paul's circumstances, the theme of joy in the book of Philippians is wonderfully highlighted in John Brunt's commentary titled Finding Joy. This is the book of the month. You can go to the website to order and then use our church code so that then, I don't know if there's a discount, but we get some, we, yes, we get a discount on shipping. So please continue. Um, we have some continuing announcements. Prison ministry is starting up, so if you would like to be a part of our prison ministry, please see Joni. Um, there, it's a great opportunity to reach the inmates and to share the love of Jesus with them. Our Vacation Bible School, we actually haven't planned to have one yet. We're waiting for you to say, hey, I want to lead Vacation Bible School, and then we'll start planning it with you. So if you're that person, please let us know that you'd like to lead out in Vacation Bible School, and I know that you will get a lot of help. Um, Pathfinders, we will be launching our Pathfinder Club. You can see the flyer on the screen right now. Next week is registration. So... Um, this includes adventurers, pathfinders, and master guides. There's going to be a short info session followed by a, a social refreshments and registration on April 13th at 6 p.m. So that's next week. Hope you can be there. And if you are planning to be a part of Pathfinders or if you're teaching in Sabbath school, if you're interacting with children, you need to take the verified volunteer um, training, and that's online. If you have any questions about it, see Joni. She can help get you to the website so you can take that. Okay, I think I have another announcement that I got here. Yep, from Felicity. She says, good morning. Happy Sabbath. Um, dis district ladies group kickoff. She wants to get all of the ladies from Pastor Brian's churches together. So that includes our church, Salem Springs and Lincoln. And she'd like to have a women's group to go to the Vintage Market Days in Bentonville at the fairgrounds, um, and that is on April 14th at 10 a.m. All ladies are invited, so please put that on your calendar, April 14th, so that's the day after our Pathfinder registration. <laughs> so um, let's plan to get together and have fun with the ladies. Okay, I think that's all of our announcements for today, and so will you please... Stand with me, and we will sing, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee.
Thank you. You may have a seat. Hey, good morning. I'm Sabbath. Um, it's time for prayers and prayer. If you have any prayers or prayer requests you would like to share with the congregation, please raise your hand. As, as many of you might already know, Annette uh, stumbled on a stump at her property in Elkins yesterday and broke her ankle, her left ankle. And she had just been able to get back to work recently after her shoulder surgery. And so I'd say she's trying to have a really good attitude, but she's pretty discouraged, I think. She's, we're all just, well, what, 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 why did this have to happen? But it happened, so please keep her in prayer and and I just thank you for that. And also, Winford's wife is still, um, she's still hanging on, but not expected to make it much, many more days. So please keep Winford and his uh, ex-wife. He's been staying over there and being with her most every day. And keep them in prayer. This is very, very hard on him. Some of you may remember that about, uh, I guess, seven or eight years ago, my daughter Jenny had fibroid tumors and had surgery to have them removed, and she has them again and uh, is uh, going to be having a hysterecty hysterectomy at some time in the future. So if you'd please keep her in prayer, I'd appreciate it. Anyone else? I know we all have something to be thankful for, and some of us are just more shy, but I am just thankful to be here in the house of the Lord today. I am thankful for a best friend who is um, God's servant and willing to speak publicly and share with us, and I know many have already prayed, and I know she's going to um, have the Holy Spirit give her what we all need to hear today. So I am thankful for that, and I'm thankful that my boys made it back from Europe safely, and Tegan and all those who went and were able to go on the Reformation tour. Um, I am, I have had a 22-year vacation, and I'm getting ready to start a part-time job pretty soon. So I am thankful for that, a little nervous for that, but thankful for that. So I have just got a lot to be thankful for, and so I just want to tell the Lord thank you, and he is just so, so good. So I just want to testify today. Uh, my grandma, my dad's mom, is here visiting from Jamaica as well as one of his brothers, one of my uncles. And I know he's very glad that they're here. I'm happy to see them, so I'm glad they can visit. I just want to say I, I want to thank the Lord for his many blessings that he gives us each and every day. And I'm just so blessed to see this church and the growth that has taken place in the last year, year and a half, and uh, glad to see it growing more. Have anyone else? Unspoken? Or uh, let's humble ourselves and those who are able to, let's kneel down and pray to God. I'm Jehovah, King of Glory. We just want to thank you for the gift of life. We just want to thank you for the way you've been with us um, through a lifetime, Lord. And uh, just thank you for being here with us. And uh, we want to praise you that um, you're always there when we need you, Lord. And even when we think we don't need you, always there for us. Father, we're just, um, again, praising you and thankful for those of us that were traveling and they're here today. Um, worshiping with us uh your name be glorified father and uh, i want to place in your hands those that are experiencing discouragement those that are 
sick, Lord, I pray that you may stretch your healing hand upon them, Father, so they can heal them, Lord. Lord, we're here gathering as your children. Um, we really need you to come and dwell within us, Father. We really need you to help us and reflect your image um, wherever we are. We want to uh, be able to be the light in the world that's full of darkness, Father. As we're here today, Lord, please um, stay with us till the end of the service, even after the end of the service, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Only God's people say, Amen. It is now time for our offering, and so I have a little reading before the plates are passed around. Um, years ago, a member of mine encouraged me to take my relationship with God as seriously as I take my career. She saw me as a very driven person, but she instructed me to make sure I connected with God at the beginning of every day. That began my habit of waking up before the sun rises around 5 a.m. to spend quiet time reading God's word and reflecting on it through prayer. A little bit ago, my husband and I noticed our daughter was taking out her Bible in the morning before getting ready for school. She found a corner in our living room to pray. When my husband asked her why she was up so early, she said, Mommy gets up early to speak to Jesus, and I want to be like Mommy. I was so struck by my daughter. It was and is my desire that my daughter develops a deep personal connection with Jesus. I simply wasn't aware of just how much my silent witnesses of waking up early impressed on her. And the uh, collection today is for the local church budget. So whether this is your first time at church or your family built this church, if you look around, it's likely that you will see someone whose spiritual journey with God you can learn from. Today's offering goes to our local church budget. In order to keep our church ministries functioning, we depend on the generosity of members returning that faithful offering to support our local church. So will the deacons come forward? And we will have a word of prayer before you take the plates. Okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for allowing everyone to be here today and for those that are able to give to us. We so appreciate it. It is your will, God, that we keep this church going and that everyone is able to donate. Uh, please give us the wisdom to spend the money wisely and to off also give you your, your tithing that we, deserve, that we need to give you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Okay, guys. Okay, let's gather here together and let's have our children's story. Okay, so today we're going to learn about growing a seed. Uh, we're going to learn about growing a seed, like when you plant something and it grows. So just play the video, please. Thanks. <laughs> Do you know how a plant grows? It all starts with a tiny seed. When a seed gets water and warmth, something magical happens. It begins to grow. The roots of the plant grow down, down, down into the soil. It holds the growing seedlings in place. Soon after, the stem reaches up up, up towards the sky. The young seedlings grow leaves that catch the sunlight it needs. Almost like magic, the plant starts to make its own food. As the days pass, the plant gets bigger and bigger. And guess what? Some plants will also get pretty flowers and yummy fruits. Inside the fruits are seeds from which new plants will grow. Isn't that amazing? Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> okay, thank you. So today we're going to we're going to hear a little story about the boy who grew a forest. Have you guys ever heard that story before? How can someone grow a forest? Cuz I used to think that the forest just happened to be can you grow a forest? Well, okay, so today we're going to we're going to find out how did he grow that forest. Okay, so next. <laughs> next. Okay. So the story talks about the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time to plant a tree is now, and that's a proverb. But the story begins, in India, on a large river island, among farms and families had a work, there lived a boy who loved trees. Trees meant shade, food, and shelter for many. But each rainy season, floodwaters swallowed more and more of the beautiful tree covered land. The boy's precious island was shrinking, eroding away with the Russian river, leaving em empty sandbars behind. The boy witnessed animals stranded on those sandbars, their homes destroyed. He feared that if animals withered without trees, people would too. The boy shared his fears with the village. The elders explained that the only way to help animals was to create a new home for them. They gifted the boy with 20 bamboo saplings. Alone he canoed down the muddy river he wished he could cover all the land with trees, but a large sandbar nearby was a place to start. The land was too barren for animals. The shores too sandy for leafy trees. Would bamboo grow? The boy hoped. Determined, he began to plant one shaft, two, then three. Every day, he watered the saplings by hand, sweat trickling down his face and chest. He built a watering system to help and lugged heavy buckets from the river. His arms grew tired, his back sore. Still, each day, he tended to the, to, the, to the plants, and over time, the bamboo patch grew. Into a healthy thicket, the boy was proud of his work, but he worried it wouldn't be enough. But he, to stop the swelling river or to provide shelter for animals. If he wanted more plants to grow, he would have to create a richer soil. The boy carried cow dung, earthworms, termites, and angry red ants that bit him on a journey to their new home. He brought seeds from neighboring villages over trails, through bush, down the river, each day he planted. 
As years passed and the boy grew, so did a forest. 10 acres, 20 acres, then 40 acres. That's a big forest, isn't it? So wildlife returned for the first time in many years. Buffalo, one-horned rhinos, and snakes, gibbons, um, migratory migratory birds and elephants. The Matins forest teemed with life and diversity. Not everyone was happy for fair swept over the villages when tigers arrived. So the man planted more grasses to attract small animals that would keep the tigers happy in the forest. Elephants wandered into neighboring farms to feast on the crops. So the man planted more fruit and trees to help feed the hungry elephants. Some wanted to harvest the forest to build homes but the man was there to build a new one. Others tried to hunt the animals for their horns and fur, but the man was there to protect. Few thought the forest would last, but the man believed in its strength. Now, in India, on a large river island, among wildlife and trees as tall as buildings, there lives a man who has planted a forest. The forest is called Molai, after a man named Jadev Molai Pahing who never stop planting and pruning and protecting. So, what do you guys think about that? Was he a determined person? Was he very determined? And was he also, something we learned today in the primary class, um, Kevin, what did we learn, and PK, what did we learn about what Jesus want us to do? Yes, Jesus wanted us to help others. He did not just want it to help everyone. He also wanted to help the animals. And that is what he did. He served and he helped. So in the Bible, Jesus was talking to his disciples one day, and he told them a, a parable. Do you guys know what is a parable? What is it? A story. Yes, yeah, so a story. But is it just a story? What Do you know a difference? Jesus telling a story. Yeah, so it's like Jesus telling a story, but the story has some tricky meaning. It has, like, hidden meaning. Like, you have to really dive into it to understand what it's trying to say. So he, so Jesus was telling this, his disciples a story. So Jesus, and that is found in John 12. And John 12, verse 24 says, I tell you the truth. A grain of wheat must fall to the ground and die. Then it makes many seeds. But if it never dies, it remains only a single seed. So do you think that Jesus was talking about an actual seed when he was telling the disciples that story? No? So what was Jesus talking about? Do you know? Well, Jesus was talking about us. So we are like the seed. And Jesus called us to die to the world and the flesh. And the only way we will die to the world and the flesh is when we serve others, when we help others, when we love others, when we do the things that please Jesus, the things that makes Jesus happy. And when we die to the flesh, we have an opportunity to grow with Christ and also to be fruitful. So just like Jesus said the seed must die to bring forth much fruit, we must die to ourselves. And let Jesus reign and do the things that Jesus asks us to do so that we can grow much fruit for Jesus. So when we do that, we become God's disciple. And also we make new disciples. Because when our friends see the things that we do and we becoming like Jesus, then they start to be like Jesus too. So we are making disciples for Jesus. And Jesus promised us that he has a gift for us. Do you guys love gifts? So Jesus promises that he has a gift for us. And he also promised to take us on a trip. How many of you guys like to travel? Yes, I love traveling. So Jesus promised to give us a gift and to, and to, tr to bring us to a trip. So the only way that can happen, that we will be able to go with Christ when Jesus comes back to take us to the trip, is if we become like him and if we like the seed, die to ourselves and produce more seeds to make a beautiful tree that brings much fruit for Christ. Do you guys have anybody want to pray? Dear Jesus, 
I think you for the story. I would pray for you that you would help us. I die to you also. I call on you. I, I break for free. Lord, help us to grow a forest. <laughs> grow as the, the forest. Just like the boy. Just like the boy. In India. In India. Be your disciple. Be your disciples. And thank you. And thank you. For the gift that you promised. The gift you all promised. And the trip that you promised. The trip you promise. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. And in your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. You guys can go to your seat now. search the world but it couldn't fill me man's empty praise the treasures that fade are never enough and you came along and put me back together
possible in your own language. Oh. Okay, as much as possible in your own language. So I have asked some assistants to come and to read the scriptures in a variety of languages this morning. So my goal is that the word of truth you hear today would just reach your hearts, be so good that it would change your hearts and that it would set you free from the things that are burdening you today. So I have my readers. Um, I have Roel Nelson will be reading in French. Josue will be reading in French Creole. Uh, Clement will be reading in Twi. Um, Josine will be reading in Kenyarwanda. And Tomaska will be reading in Marshallese. So they will not be translating every word of my sermon. Um, mostly my sermon is going to be preached by Paul because I'm taking lots of scriptures from Paul's letters. And so um, I will pause after key texts and let them read those key texts in those languages. Um, I appreciate your patience as we hear the word in multiple languages today. Um, my, I'm going to do this. Okay, that's better. I feel like it's right in my face. Um, they're kind of like a dog. made on their minds in regard to the resurrection was vague. They scarcely knew what the resurrection from the dead could mean. They were unable to take in the great subject.
Cette parole est certaine. Si nous sommes morts avec lui, nous vivrons aussi avec lui. Timothy Moma et Tosso Mieno, Chichemu Mieno, et Timieno, Nimoa et Yedubak, ou say, No cassem ye, say, no wa, ye know better than sin, so amen. De Timothy de verse onze, ça c'est parole sept, hein. Si nous mourions en Samavel, n'a pas vivre en Samavel, toi. Timothée Kaviri, je t'ai acheté un jambo, ni je suis là, 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 je suis Paul to Timothy, Paul says that if we died with Jesus, suggesting that we have that opportunity. And if we do die with Jesus, we will also live with him. But we need to understand more clearly why this is necessary and why is it good news that we die. So I'm going to turn to Romans chapter 5 where this is spoken of very clearly by Paul in his letter to the Romans chapter 5, and I'm going to start reading in verse 12. It says, Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, so death spread to all men, because all sinned. Who is the one man through whom death came? Adam. So sin came through Adam and death because of sin. Verse 13, for sin indeed was in the world before the law was given, but sin was not counted where there is no law. Romains 5, verset 19. Car, comme par la désobéissance d'un seul homme, beaucoup ont été rendus pécheurs. De même, par l'obéissance d'un seul, beaucoup seront rendus justes. Romains 5, verset 19. Si désobéissance est seulement la cause, il y a tout le monde fait péché. Comme ça, tout, obéissance est seulement la cause, bon Dieu va faire. Un pile mon grâce. 
Roman fongo ma e train um chichemu do kuno. I say, na se de unipa ba akuma aso. Na se de unipa ba akono aso de ma nipa bebre be ye abone fono. Sa na ba akofo su city e be ma nipa bebre aye atene ne fono. Amen. Aroma gatano, nishe cha chuni chenda. Kandi nguko kutumbira ima na kumu unumi kwa teye kobe nchi bababa nyabjaha. Niko no kumvi, no kumvi la kumye kuzate la kwa venchi wa wachiranati. Amen. Rom, mwalem, chongo ratham juwa na jwa. Innem ka naan chuan aramej kaar chapeo ka ke. Aar kamman pa aramej otam ji jaran charo ilo e chao wa wini noot. Ka naan aramej yu chuan peo ka ke. Anich enaj kwa ene ke ilang aramej. Amen. So Paul started with the bad news because of one man, Adam, sin entered the world. And since that time, we have all been born in sin. But the good news is that there's another man. And this man, Jesus, brings the gift of righteousness that can reign in our life. We are made righteous because of Jesus, not because of what we did today, not because of what we did yesterday. We are made righteous because of Jesus. There's one more detail about how we're able to claim this righteousness in Romans 6. So turn over from Romans 5 to Romans 6. I'm going to start in verse 3. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we, too, might walk in the newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin for one who has died has been set free from sin. Praise the Lord. Now we have died with Christ. We believe that we also live with him. Let's hear five through eight in other languages. Romains 6, verset 5 à 8. En effet, si nous sommes devenus une même plante avec lui par la conformité à sa mort, nous le serons aussi par la conformité à sa, résur à sa résurrection, sachant que notre vieil homme a été crucifié avec lui afin que le corps du péché fût détruit, pour que nous ne soyons plus esclaves du péché, car celui qui est mort est libre du péché. Or, Si nous sommes morts avec Christ, nous croyons que nous vivrons aussi avec lui. Amen. Romains 6, verset 5, revenant verset 8. Même Jean nous faisons à lui parce que nous te mourions, Jean. Tant que lui-même, il te mourira. Quand ça tourne, nous faisons avec lui. Parce que nous allons sortir vivant dans la mort tant que tout. Nous connaissons ça bien, vieux monde nous était avant, ça mourir avec Christ. Sous quoi Comme ça. Ça nous gain corps. Ça nous gain encore nous qui te qu'on fait nous péché à fini. Nous pas esclaves péché encore. Les hommes monde mourir, il délivré en bas pouvoir péché là. Si nous mourir ensemble avec Christ là, nous quoi n'a pas vivre tout ensemble avec lui. Roma form ma a train sia yichi mu enum ekosi nwatwe no na se yane no aye ba ko ekwan a ofa so wi mu a ene ekwan bia so yane no beye ba ko ni nyane so mu na yenim ye se waboye ni pesu dada no asenue mu se bone nu ni pedue mu na ya nkoso anye bone nko abio ifi se je wa wu no wa bu no bem afri bone ho afi nso se ani kristo wu a Yajidi said, 
tuzaba duteranijwe nawe gusangira kuzuka nkukwe kandi tumenye iki yuko umuntu wacu wa kera yabambanwe nawe kugira ngo umubiri w'ibyaha ukurwe twe kugumya kuba imbata z'ibyaha huko wapfuye aba atsindishijwe ibyaha ariko niba twarapfanye na Kristo kwizera twizera yuko tuzabanaho nawe twizera yuko tuzabanaho nawe rom tijino ngale mon ralde ke jaba poya langa cha chono de pen ilo mech eno dan gar mech ilo cha wa winu chena chono de pen ilo chara ka peji eno dan chara ka peji poy chijala meni emo yara bayale meuru war mo goda pen christ poy ka yoru meuru chara wi war mo goda jin chaku yem poy jin cha par ga mo goda chara wi poy ngai chona arme je mech e jana mo goda jin ka yoru an chara wi elanga cha arme pen christ chitta nak poy Tonight, pray not no repent. Amen. So when we are baptized into Christ, we participate in his death. We're buried with him, and we are raised to new life. A new life that it says in verse 7 is free from sin. Maybe you're like the disciples, and you're thinking this is too good to be true. Maybe you want to know if this is true for you. Maybe you're thinking that your sin is too bad. Maybe you think that it can't be you. Let's look at Romans 5 again. So we're going back from Romans 6 to Romans 5, and we're going to read verses 6 to 11. And then the readers will read from 8, 6 to 10, and the readers will read from, read from 8 to 10. For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even die. But God, God is different. God shows his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Since, therefore, we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his son much more now that we are reconciled shall we be saved by his life let's hear it in other languages Romains 8 Romains 5 verset 8 et 10 uh, mais Dieu prouve son amour envers nous en ce que lorsque nous étions encore des pécheurs Christ est mort pour nous à plus forte raison donc maintenant que nous sommes justifiés par son sang Serons-nous sauvés par lui de la colère? Car si lorsque nous étions ennemis, nous avons été réconciliés avec Dieu par la mort de son Fils, à plus forte raison, étant réconciliés, serons-nous sauvés par sa vie? Romains 5, verset 8, arrivé dans verset 10. Sous point ça, bon Dieu montre nous, j'en lirai mes nous en pile. Parce que nous avons fait péché, toujours le Christ l'a mouru pour nous. C'est parce que les bâtiments sont les pour nous, qui fait coulier, bon Dieu fait nous grâce. Nous pas besoin de si Christ l'a pas délivré nous en bas, qu'on est bon Dieu. Nous avons mis avec bon Dieu, les petits bon Dieu à mourir pour te faire nous bien avec bon Dieu encore. Quand il y a nos ses amis bon Dieu. Nous pas besoin de si la vie petite bon Dieu a pas délivré nous. Romain fong ma etre nom che che mo mo tre kosi etu. Nan su o nyanko pon yi ne doa o doye en no tre. If we say, ye da so ye ne boye fono, Christo wu ma yen. En ti a fe mo ma wabu yen bie mo wo ni mo jay mo yi. O nam ne so beji yen kwa efri e bu fo no mo. E du ne se Na se bra na ye ye atan fo no onam ne ba ni wo so pata ye ni onyankopon tem de essence no afia wa pata ye no ni ntem yi onam ne so beje ye nkwa mroso amen amen oroma gatano eje chamla ne avuze ko cyacenda murongo amene kugeza kwa cyenda ariko imana yerekanye urukundo rwayo idukunda ubwo Kristo yadupiraga tukira abanyabyaha Hans can know any or go to Mazako team this year is going to Marasoy. Me to Zarush, me to Zarush, all coaches go out, Mojina women and now. 
ubwo twunzwe n'Imana kubwo urupfu rw'umwana wayo dupfiriye tukira abanzi bayo none ubwo tumaze kungwa nayo nti tuzarushaho gukizwa kubwo ubugingo bwe amen amen rom lalim radangan chongole ba akani jar kolok kedatan nyawa nelap poilo yeno ke char perilo charowi christ are miskin kit kan patagatagan Christ ani jar ko ene ke jiman mejen inne mela bala kan ali karan Christ nas lamoren ke iren wone chen iren wona nanit mokata char ge jarat anit akie mo jan wata ke charan ke mejawan nejin kie ke je charan anit ela bala kan ali kar ana lamoren ke ke no rewan Christ amen all right look at verse 8 one more time while we were yet what Christ did what so that we are now what? Amen. Is that good news? Yes. That's amazing news. Let's hear Paul say it again in Colossians. Turn to Colossians chapter 1. Colossians is after Philippians. Okay. Colossians chapter 1, verses 21 and 22. And you who once were alienated and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in his body of flesh by his death in order to present you holy and blameless and above reproach before him. Colossians 1, verses 21 and 22. And you qui étiez autrefois étrangers et ennemis par vos pensées et par vos mauvaises œuvres, il vous a maintenant réconcilié par sa mort dans le corps de sa chair, pour vous faire paraître devant lui saint, irrépréhensible et sans reproche. Colossiens 1, verset 21 avec 22. Nous-mêmes tous, mon colosse, dans tant longtemps, nous t'avons vécu loin, mon Dieu. Nous t'es l'ennemi avec la cause, toute bagaille mal nous t'a fait, yo. Avec toute mauvaise idée nous t'es gagné en tête, non. Mais qu'on l'a, quand même si Christ là qui mourit, dans le col, dans le couillon monde, bon Dieu fait nous bien avec le col, encore, pour nous, pour nous capparaître devant le couillon monde qui a vécu, à part pour lui, sans aucune tâche, sans aucun reproche. Amen. Close the form ma e tre bako chichemu e dionu bako kosi e dionu mienu na mo anka brebi na mo ye ahoho ni atamfo adwen fam ni nyuma boni mu no afei onam owo so apatamu ni ni ntemwo ni honam ni paduemu se ode no besi ho se ni pa kronkrona oni dem a asembia ni won ho wo nanim amen amen abakuru se yice cyambere murongo wa 21 kugeza 22 Namwe abari baratandukanyijwe n'Imana kera mukaba umwari abanzi bayo mu mitima yanyu no kubwa imirimo mibi none yungishije namwe urupfu rw'umubiri we ngo abashyira imbere yayo muri abera nabaziranenge mutagawa amen Claude Juan Romo Juan Juan Romo Roiba mogada ko maro tolo ke janani Yum can chervali mulamala koami ranana koma rerum rejerat ananit. A kia can major an nejin yilo canic, yamaja ananit kajarek, charai kum, payan pogodo kum ani penilo koyer, yme reo, yme chalak nodami. So, based on the scriptures that we read about Adam and the transgression, we were alienated from God, as it says in Colossians before we were even born. Because of Adam's sin, we were alienated. But that happened in Genesis, and in Genesis chapter three, verse 15, God gives a promise. He says, I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. This promise that the alienation would be done away with and that he would make us hate that sin 
was fulfilled in Jesus. So in Colossians 1, when it says you were once alienated and hostile in mind, Jesus reconciled us to the Father through his death. And so now we can be presented how? Holy, blameless, above reproach. I think we have such a hard time believing this good news because we don't feel it. Do you feel holy? Do you feel blameless? But does the word say that you are? Yes. The word says that you are. Do you believe your feelings or do you believe the word? the word? Friends, I want you to believe the word today. That's why we're reading it over and over. Turn with me to Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 to 6. I'm going to read from 2 to 6, and then the readers will read 4 to 6. It says, And you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. But God... Being rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised up with him and seated with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen. Ephésiens 2, verset 4 à 6. Mais Dieu, qui est riche en miséricorde, à cause d'un grand amour dont il nous a aimés. Nous qui étions morts par nos offenses, nous a rendus à la vie avec Christ. C'est par la grâce que vous êtes sauvés. Il nous a ressuscités ensemble et nous a fait asseoir ensemble dans, dans les lieux célestes en Jésus-Christ. Amen. Amen. Ephésiens 2, verset 4, arrivé verset 6. Mais bon Dieu, si tellement il est sensible, et si tellement il est nous, il nous la vie encore ensemble à Christ là. Nous même qui t'aimons à cause de péché nous, c'est en faveur bon Dieu fait nous de li, délivrer nous. Ensemble à Christ là, bon Dieu fait nous lever sortir dans la mort. Il fait nous chita, jouk en haut dans le ciel là, ensemble à Christ amen Abe fesa ishe cha kabiri mungu wakani zako kwa tanda tu, aliko imani na huko rumuto nzima mbabazi ya dui ndura nyabazi imani na Kristo, kuguru kundo rugini ya ya du kuzi ugoto kwa ridu pfu yetu zibichu maobja ch, nuko ituzura na nawe itkuichara nia nawe mjeru ku muburijo gumuk turi muri Kristo Yesu, amen. Ebejeri. Roja pada emenan kan cijino, ijo gue turu yang mana ni je cep cemalak, imia gue yang mana kan kait eganu tulat. Ken menin, mengen ar cemalak meurin cedok bilu kait ken ar cep peok aga, agar ken meur kait jilu Christ. Innam kait ken cewu yang mana ni komar pagelau meur. Ilo ar cewu nu dipen Christ cijis ar kajar gak kait dipen pejen iru dipen ilo ailing gue yang ilang. adversary is working very hard so that we will not believe this good news and that we will not walk in the spirit. So he comes with condemnation, a condemnation that does not come from God. I want to read in Romans chapter 8, starting with uh, verse 1. Turning back, uh, yeah, back from Ephesians to Romans. 
Starting in verse 1, I'm going to read 1 to 4 first. It says, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. Is sin condemned in our flesh? No. Sin was condemned in the flesh of Jesus. We are therefore no longer condemned. By sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Go ahead. We'll do this in two parts. Romain 8, verset 1 à 4. Il n'y a donc maintenant aucune condamnation pour ceux qui sont en Jésus-Christ. En effet, la loi de l'esprit de la vie en Jésus-Christ m'a affranchi de la loi du péché et de la mort. Car chose impossible à la loi, parce que la chair la rendait sans force, Dieu a condamné le péché dans la chair en envoyant à cause du péché son propre fils dans une chair semblable à celle du péché. Et cela afin que la justice de la loi fût accomplie en nous qui marchons non selon la chair, mais selon l'Esprit de Dieu. Amen. Amen. Pour mon premier verset, Yon, il va juste dans verset 4. Depuis longtemps, mon Dieu te promet de bonnes nouvelles par bouche prophète Lio. Dans le livre Saint-Esprit, te fait écrire. écrit. Bonne nouvelle ça par pour nous. Bon nouvelle ça parler nous sous petite lia Jésus-Christ Seigneur nous les pour te fait tant couyon monde Jésus sorti dans la famille roi David mais d'après saint esprit saint esprit qui fait nous vivre pour mon Dieu il te fait nous ouais avec pouvoir ces petites bon Dieu à lier et elle te lever sorti vivant dans la mort Amen Roman forme ma extrait en chez Chichemu Beba mu wo yana yanante honamu ne mum yanante honamu amen amen abaroma ishe chamna chamna ne mungu ambeshiza kwa kane nuko rero none abari muri kristo yesu ntateka bazacirwaho kuko itege kurya umwuka w'ubugingo bwo muri kristo yesu rya rya ryambatuye ubata bw'itegeko ry'ibyaha n'urupfu kuko ibyo mateze kuyananiwe gukora kubw'intege nke za kamere yacu imana yabishoje ubwo yatumaga umwana wayo afite ishusho ya kamere y'ibyaha y'ibyaha kuba igitambo cy'ibyaha icira ibyaha bya kamereho iteka kugira ngo gukiranuka kwa mategeko gusozwe muri twe abadakurikiza ibya kamere y'umubiri ahubwo yakurikiza iby'umwuka amen amen Rom praldek chona ngane manageba kia ani echep na ron for more lo at chona de pen christ jesus pekin cheta poya reo e jeleto ar more lo christ jesus ar kadalak yo chen kien chero wi met menyo kien moje jar pane kan an arabi moje no an jar kamone an ar won chero wi an arabi kyar chen ngoto ne je neo emaga yot eo ar itok ilo ne me Richard Wee Penjala Cheruan Armit. Anit Arkaman and Rain, Penan in Chirong, Kuilo Kieno, Yem Richet Rantavragilo Kit, Ro, Chit Moor, a Karangan Chetup, Yem Chabakarangan Mum, Kohan Kanet. So the righteousness, the righteous requirement of the law was fulfilled in us through Christ, 
because we walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. But maybe the, maybe the devil is telling you, no, you're walking in the flesh. But Paul, in his letter, was speaking to fellow followers of Christ in Rome. And I am speaking to fellow followers of Christ in Fayetteville. And he says in verse 9, you, however, are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if in fact the spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. Do we belong to him? Yes, we do. So then we have the spirit of Christ in us. It says, but if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the spirit of life because of the spirit is life because of righteousness. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Jesus Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Amen. Pour vous, vous ne vivez pas selon la chair, mais selon l'esprit. Si du moins l'esprit de Dieu habite en vous, si quelqu'un n'a pas l'esprit de Christ, il ne lui appartient pas. Et si Christ est en vous, le corps, il est vrai, est mort à cause du péché, mais l'esprit est en vie à cause de la justice. Et si l'esprit de celui qui a ressuscité Jésus d'entre les morts habite en vous, celui qui a ressuscité Jésus-Christ d'entre les morts rendra aussi la vie à vos corps, mortels par son esprit qui habite en vous. Je prends mon Dieu pour témoin. Mon Dieu m'a servi à tout témoin, les m'a pas annoncé bonne nouvelle petite Lia. C'est tout le temps m'a nommé non non non. C'est sans arrêter m'a pas prié pour nous. M'a demandé bon Dieu pour qui témoin vienne visiter nous, y ont les comme ça. Si c'est volonté lui. C'est pas ti envie mais moins pas envie ouais non pour me séparer avec nous quelque bénédiction bon Dieu ben moi pour nous capable de venir puis faire. Roman phone ou ma etre mo chi chi che mo nkuno ekosi dubako nanso mo die mo ni hunam na mo mo wo hunhum nanso ji se onyankopo hunhum timumu ampa na se obi ni kristo hunhum a sa ni pa no nya ne dia nanso se kristo wo mumu a boni nti ni padua no awu ampa na tene ni nti hunhum no benyankwa na afei Said there, Unyani Yesu free a woofo mono, home home no timumua. There, Unyani Christo Yesu free a woofo mono, Bema munipediano, ah, a woo no, unsonqua, or nam ne home homa a timumuno, so, amen. Amen. A lot of mumnane, a chitamal mongotina is a chunarimi. I recall me again, he moody our camere, I'll go moody a woom walker, neighbor, umoka with manna, our moody me. Ariko umuntu wese utagira umwuka wa Kristo ntaba aruwe niba Kristo aba muri mwe nubwo umubiri ubupfuye uzize ibyaha umwuka uburi muzima bwo gukiranuka ariko niba umwuka uyazuye Yesu aba muri mwe yazuye Kristo Yesu izazo n'imibiri yanyi pfa kubwo umwuka wayo uba muri mwe amen amen rom raldek radam yonanga chongo jone pa a kom komi che meo rekarangan mom ko ami lo kanek komi che meo rekarangan chetap elanga ya mol pa chetap na ni chet peri lo kom chaparot yo chetap an Christ eche peri pen eche matan Christ aga elanga Christ eche per ilo kom menge an pani mi na mi chen charuwi a kom na meo rilo chetap kanega ya mich ananit ya mich kanega ya mich ananit ko ay na kom elanga chetap an ananit Eo ar kajarga cici cincit, ej peri lokom inem. Eo ar kajarga peji Christ enaj prayanot kami orang punemi, en punemin mit. Enaj kaman menin kencetu pewan, ej peri lokom. Amen. Friends, are you starting to see what the resurrection means for you? It means freedom. Are you tired of carrying the guilt and shame that the father of lies has convinced you is yours? It is not yours. You are a new creation raised in new life in Jesus Christ. I have one final text, and then we're going to end on time. Turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 
We're going to read the whole chapter. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to start in verse 14, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. It says, for the love of Christ controls us because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all, that those who live might no longer live to themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh, we regard him no longer thus. So as we used to look through our sinful flesh at people and see who the father of lies wants us to see them as, we have new, we've, we've had spiritual Lasix. <laughs> now we can look through God's eyes. We can look through the eyes of Christ and see um, our brothers and sisters. 17 says, therefore, if anyone is in, in Christ, he is a new creation. That means me. And that means those that I'm also looking at. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. And we can only have that because now we can see other people through his eyes. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them. Again, that's how we have to see other people now, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, and now I'm going to take verse 20 very personally and say, I, therefore, I am an ambassador for Christ today. God, making his appeal through me to you, I implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. Verse 21, for our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21, Celui qui n'a point connu le péché, il l'a fait devenir péché pour nous. Afin que nous devenions en lui justice de Dieu. De Corinthiens 5, verset 21. Que cela n'a pas jamais fait aucun péché. Mais mon Dieu fait le prendre son nom sous lui. Il traite le temps qu'il y a un monde qui fait péché. Comme ça, nous faisons seul quoi avec Christ là. Bon Dieu fait nos grâces. Corinthiens 5, verset 21. Corinthiens 5, verset 21. Ye moi et ye et je ne bako. I say, if we say, de own nim boneno, or de ne ye bonne maye, na ye yanko pont in any one mu. Amen. Amen. Ugan could go a curry go a coin, a shetagata, no longer mocking a rinading. Cuco uti is a community, Cuco uti is a community chaha, a man named Muhindi, a cuba, a chaha, cugach, Kujirango, Muriway, do Hinduke, Guchiranoka, Queen Amen. Rokoran, Galim Chabata, Rongo Chonio Neva, Echalakan Cry Cherui, a Ken Kit, Anija Lelagan as in Gajilo Cherui go are, Poe, Yloa Chono de Pen, and War are as in Gajilo Wine again, Anich. Amen. Christ died so that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ. Because he died, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I want you to say it today so that you can hear yourself say it, and we're going to say it several times. So on the next few slides, I have a different word underlined and bold so that you can emphasize that word on each slide. We're just going to say the same thing over and over. It's taken from 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21. I didn't make this up. I did not tell you you are the righteousness of God in Christ. God is telling us through his word that you are the righteousness of God in Christ. So let's practice saying it. Are you ready to say this with me? I am the righteousness of God in Christ. 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 
I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Is that good news? <laughs> that is good news. And if you have decided today that you want to believe this word, if you want to leave in your seat the condemnation that you felt, rise in newness of life and come up today and say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I want you to join me up here as we prepare to sing our closing song. Um, if you want to say that I am the righteousness of God in Christ, just join me up here in the front. Thank you. We're going to close with hymn number 377, Go Forth, Go Forth with Christ. Father in heaven, I thank you that you won the victory and you gave it to us. Lord, let us walk in victory from this place Amen. today as we can say that we are the righteousness of God in Christ only because of what you did on the cross for us. Lord, thank you that you were, were that you died, were buried, and resurrected, that we could die, be buried, and resurrected with you. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. join us for potluck.